bringing children into the woods for decades. What are they? The Hollow Ones. They're watching. Hey, what's up, guys? On this week's movie review, I'll be talking about The Hollow Child. All right, I watched this movie about um, two weeks ago. Man, this is awesome. I've been waiting to do a review on it. Um, spoiler alert, it's definitely good, worth watching. If you like these type of, um, you know, these type of horror movies where it's not like a bloodbath, but it's more mysterious and... Um, and um, you're just trying to figure out like what the creature is or the lore. I I love these type of movies. It's not um it's not your typical like you know people go to the cabin in the woods type thing. All right. So the Hollow Child. It's directed by Jeremy Lutter and written by Ben Rollo. All right. So it follows the lead actress Jessica McLeod, and then the supporting uh, actress is Hannah Jeremy. All right, so Jessica is kind of like a troubled teen. She bounces from a foster home to foster home. So she makes it to, to this house, right? Where it's a mom, dad, and they have a young daughter, probably like um, maybe eight years old or so. All right, Jessica's a teenager, right? And the young daughter that's played by, um, by um, Ch Hannah Cherami. All right, so yeah, so it takes place just following this young girl that's disturbed, right? She got cuts and stuff, so you can kind of tell that she has a bad past, right? So she, you know, she's given the small task of just bringing the little kid home, right? But obviously she messes that up or she wouldn't have a movie. So this little kid, she goes missing, right? And it's like, man, the dad doesn't like um, this girl, right? The dad doesn't really like this girl. It's the mom that's really giving this girl a chance because she... You know, she had some trauma growing up. So she sees with this girl, right? So she basically lets this kid get kidnapped. We don't know by what. We don't know what force. We don't know what's going on. And then it's kind of weird because it's like, man, I'm like thinking this movie's over. Like a couple of days go by, no kid. Then boom, the kid comes by, right? The kid all of a sudden mysteriously appears, you know, seemingly okay, nothing wrong. But you know, it's a horror movie, so things uh, things start to go haywire. The kid starts acting weird, just a little more aggressive. Then they have a dog, and I'll let you kind of think what happens to the dog and all of that. Um, man, it's just like some weird stuff going on. But you can tell this girl is just acting different, but the parents don't notice it. But at the end of the day, I mean, your kid, you got a little girl that goes missing. If they're back, you don't care, you know? You just like you just want to like oh my god i have my daughter back but um yeah so but and this little girl starts messing with this girl here like blaming her for stuff getting her in trouble all kind of stuff right but um but this girl you know f for whatever reason she's like man really it's really irking her what's going on with this girl like she knows something is wrong and then there's there's a lore giver I'll just put it like that. There's a person that kind of puts the story together. She starts going deep diving. That's that's what I love about these movies when they start to piece together the lore of everything. So she does that. Um, she gets some help from her friends. She has one girl um, friend. And he had one male friend. You know, the male friend kind of likes her, so she he's doing all this stuff for her. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they um so they figure s some stuff about it um like that. Not trying to give too much away. But yeah, things start really turning up, man. It's really turned up towards um towards the middle. It has a great pace. The movie has great pace. Um definitely it's definitely something you can watch straight through. It's not like two hours or something. But it all ties together nicely. Um good amount of action. And um I think people will like it. Um it will like the first ending. When I say first ending, you know, right bef not the ending before the credits. Because there is something for you to pay attention to right before not gonna um sp i don't want to spoil that but it's definitely worth watching it has a good amount of scares and some intrigue and lore so um this is definitely a go i'm gonna give this one a go definitely watch that it's nice cool you know it's a time to kind of stream and chill you know whatever service you use i think i got this one on amazon prime amazon prime been killing it lately i don't know if y'all had that but give that a try amazon prime is legit this thing is is nice i always seem to like there's always something I can watch at the end of the day. So yeah, man, I'm giving I'm giving this one a go. Check that out. Let me know um, what you guys think. If you liked it or what. 
tweet it out, man, to the writers. They'll know that um, you got this movie for me. All right, take it easy. I'm out. Peace.